Hello students, in our previous episode, we discussed the various types of functions such as 1, 1, many 1 and on 2 into. We actually explained the same with help of diagrams and specific examples. Uh, that won't be sufficient because we must give a precise definition of this. So, in this episode, we define this precisely and take some more examples. First of all, we define what is known as onto. A function is called onto if the codomain has no free elements. The same thing we write as a function f x to y is called on to if for all y belonging to y there exist x belonging to x such that f x is y that is every element has a pre image or to every element in codomain, there is an element in x which gives the image as y. Now, onto function is also called surjection. So, surjection is another name for onto function. For into function, we do not give any definition, simply we say any function which is not on to is called into function. In fact, in a problem when we have to prove this function is into, then we have to only show an example of an element whose image is not there. Whereas, to prove a function to be on to, we have to use the definition. And now, we define what is known as 1 1 function. A function f x to y is called 1 1 if different elements have different image that is f x 1 equal to not equal to f x 2 implies x 1 is not x 2. Now, we define what is known as 1 1 function. A function f x 2 y is called 1 1 if different elements give different image that is x 1 not equal to x 2 implies f x 1 not equal to f x 2. But this way of showing in the problem is not very handy. So, we take another form which is contrapositive of this. So, we write f x 1 equal to f x 2 implies x 1 equal to x 2. So, we shall be using this form most often. As in the case of onto function, we have one more name for 1 1 calling injection. So, a function which is 1 1 is also called injection or injective mapping. Whereas, for many one function, we can simply say a function which is not 1 1 is called many one. 
So in practice, whenever we are to show a function is many one, we simply pick up two elements which have common image. So one example gives the proof. Whereas to prove something is one one, we have to use the precise definition. Now let us take a problem. Given that A is the set 1, 2, 3, B is at 4, 5, 6, 7, F is given to be 1, 5, 2, comma 6, 3, comma 7, we have to show that F is 1, 1, but not on 2. Now, in this problem, the function is given using ordered pairs. Whenever function given in this form, it only means the first element belongs to domain and second element belongs to codomain. So, we have f1 is equal to 5, f2 is equal to 6 and f3 is equal to 7. So, here we have complete list of elements and their images. As seen clearly, different element have different image. So, it is clearly 1 1. Here, the element 4 of set B, which is codomain, has no pre image. So, it is in 2 function. So, eventually, the given function turns out to be a function which is 1 1 into function or you can so call it, it is into but injective function because 1 1 is also called injective. We take one more problem to show that the sinum function defined from r to r by f x is 1 when x is positive, f x is 0 when x is 0 and f x is minus 1 when x is negative is neither 1 1 r nor into. It means we to show that the function is many 1 and into. In this case, example suffice. We have f 2 is 1, also f 3 is 1. This implies f is many 1, that is it is not 1 1. Also, you take any number in the codomain that is r other than 1, 0 and minus 1. Say suppose we take 5, 5 belongs to r from the codomain and there is no pre image for it means there is no element in r whose f image is 5. So, f inverse 5 does not exist. Hence, it is into. So, the given function is many 1 and into. In other words, it is neither 1 1 nor on 2 or in other words, it is neither injection nor surjection. Let us take one more problem. Here, we are given two sets A and B. A contains all the real numbers except 3 b contains all the real numbers except 1. Now, we have a function from a to b defined by f x is x minus 2 upon x minus 3. Now, the question is whether f is 1 1 and on 2 and we have to justify our answer. First, we take up on 2 part. For this, let us take y is equal to x minus 2 upon x minus 3 this makes x equal to minus 3 y plus 2 upon minus y plus 1. That is 3 y minus 2 upon y minus 1. Now, since y belongs to b and the number 1 is not in b, so y minus 1 in denominator makes sense because y minus 1 cannot be 0. So, clearly this belongs to R. So, we can write f inverse y equal to 
3 y minus 2 upon y minus 1. Thus, f inverse exists for every y belonging to b, hence the function is on 2. Now, to prove the function is 1 1, let us take two elements a and b from a. So, let a comma b belongs to a. Let us assume that f a equal to f b. Thus, we have f inverse y is 3 y minus 2 upon y minus 1 and hence we have f to be on 2. Now, to show it is 1 1, we take up two elements a and b from a. So, we have y is equal to x minus 2 upon x minus 3. This implies x equal to minus 3 y plus 2 upon minus y plus 1 equals 3 y minus 2 upon y minus 1. Let us put y is equal to x minus 2 upon x minus 3. This implies x equal to minus 3 y plus 2 upon minus y plus 1. Again, it is equal to 3 y minus 2 upon y minus 1. But since y cannot be 1 in b, so this makes sense and hence this whole thing is a meaningful fraction belonging to r. Thus, we can say f inverse y is equal to 3 y minus 2 upon y minus 1. And hence, f inverse y exists for every y. So, this implies f is on 2 function. Thus, we are shown that f is on 2 because we can find the pre image for every value of y in b. To show that f is 1 1, let us take two elements a and b from a. Suppose f a equals f b. This means a minus 2 upon a minus 3 is equal to b minus 2 upon b minus 3. This makes a minus 2 times b minus 3 is equal to a minus 3 times b minus 2. This means a b minus 2 b minus 3 a plus 6 is equal to a b minus 3 b minus 2 a plus 6. Here a b a b get cancelled, 6 get cancelled, you are left with minus 2 b plus 3 b is equal to 3 a plus minus 2 a. Ultimately, b becomes a. Thus, we are shown that whenever f a is equal to f b, we get a is equal to b and hence f must be 1 1. So, the answer to the question is indeed f is 1 1 and on 2 and the justification is given in the proof itself. Today, we precisely defined on 2 function and 1 1 function. We do not require a definition for in 2 and many 1 because they are just the absence of on 2 and 1 1. To prove a function is 1 1 or on 2, we have to use the definitions whereas, to prove a function to be many 1 or in 2, we have to give a counter example. Now, we also remarked that on 2 function is called surjection and in 2 function is called injection. In our next episode, we take the composition of function that is function of function. Thank you.